Dermoscopy of sclerosing nevus with pseudomelanomatous features. Sclerosing nevus with pseudomelanomatous feature is a benign nevus that simulates a regressive melanoma. Sclerosing nevus is also similar morphologically and also for aspect in histopathology to a recurrent nevus, to a traumatized nevus, and to a nevus with florid fibroplasia and with aspect of regression. And in fact, it's almost impossible to distinguish these entities between the sclerosing nevus with pseudomelanomatous features. In histopathology, this lesion is characterized by a trizonal pattern. This means that there is a component located in the epidermis that's characterized by a typical junctional proliferation with some pagetoid spreading, usually very limited, a intermediate band that's characterized by the dermal sclerosing structure, and a deeper portion with nevus remnant. In this paper, we try to describe the dermoscopic features of this entity. This lesion usually occurs in young to middle-aged patient and in the convex area of the back. This area is also more exposed to microtrauma, sunburn, and deep inflammatory dermatosis, which can explain some of the morphological pattern we can observe in this lesion. This lesion is prevalent in males. Three out of four cases, in fact, are observed in men. The median age is 38 years old. Concerning dermoscopic criteria, we evaluated this lesion considering the uh, analysis proposed by Kittler, dividing the structures and the color. We consider the presence of clots, the presence of lines, reticular and thick, and the presence of structureless area. Whereas, concerning the color, we evaluated the colors as brown, blue and pink for all structures, white and gray for the structureless areas. In the dermoscopic evaluation, we observed that the majority of the lesion were presenting the structureless areas, followed by clouds and by lines and, and network. Usually, this lesion, in almost all cases, presented two or three of these patterns. When presenting two patterns, in the majority of cases, we observe structureless areas with clouds or structureless areas with lines and network. That means that the predominance of this lesion were characterized by structureless areas. Concerning the color, brown color was the predominant one, followed by blue color, white and pink color. Altogether, Considering structural cell color, the majority of these lesions were characterized by more than one color, usually two or three, and more than one structure, two or three structures, generating a complex pattern. Here, from left to right, we can see some example of this entity. The sclerosing nevus on the left is characterized by a combination of pattern, cloud, lines reticular and structureless, with brown and blue color. The lesion in the center is characterized by clouds, usually brown and a few in blue color, structureless area, both blue and white, and brown lines and network. The lesion on the right is characterized by white structureless area and brown network. Here we have other example, and we can see in this example that all lesions show a brown color in association with blue color, blue and pink, and pink and gray color. 
strutless area, network and lines and clouds are present in these cases with a different distribution. This case is showing a white stratoless area with clots, and we can observe the histopathological correlation where it is possible to observe the junctional alteration mimicking a dysplastic nevus and the dermal fibrosis, and in the depth, the dermal nest. We have here another example of a sclerosing nevus, in this case with the predominance of stratoless areas blue and white, and the histopathological correspondence again with the junctional alteration atypia, the sclerosing band, and the dermal nest in depth. Confocal microscopy can highlight the histopathological structures especially the ones that are located in the surface, so it's possible to see a ring pattern, some cytological atypia and dendritic cells, melanophages, and the collagen alteration that correspond to coarse collagen fibers. Overall, this entity uh, could be recognized, especially when it is presenting the characteristic dermoscopic features. Sometimes, uh, the irregular distribution of the pattern uh, and the presence of a marked atypia should prompt any way excision because it can make this lesion unrecognizable from a melanoma.